All right, we're here once again at WesterCon doing questions and answers and presentations for future WorldCon bids. Uh, the 2017, 16, yes, 16, 16. sorry. I, I've been doing so many of these, I'm getting it. The 2016 WorldCon site will be selected this year at London. The sites that are on the ballot are uh, Kansas City and Beijing. There's nobody here from the Beijing bid, but we do have representatives from Kansas City. Hi, everyone. Is close enough? Mm -hmm. Yes. Pretty close, yeah. Uh, my name is Beth Welsh. I am a member of the KC in 2016 bid committee. Uh, first and most importantly, please come to our party this evening at 9 o'clock in uh, 1531. That's where the DC party was last night if you visited. Uh, our proposed dates for a Kansas City World Con would be August 17th through the 21st, which is a Wednesday through a Sunday. Uh, the site would be the Kansas City Convention Center, uh, which is also known as Bartle Hall for people who are local. And most importantly, this is taking place in Missouri, for those who might be confused. We just named it that way just to confuse everybody. Uh, we have uh, five hotels lined up. Uh, the main hotel is the Marriott, which is adjacent. Uh, to the convention center, then we have uh, the Crown Plaza, the Hotel Phillips, the Aladdin, and the Hotel President, which are all within uh, walking distance from the convention center. And we have overflow at Crown Center, which is not within walking distance, but by 2016 will be uh, available via streetcar. We're very excited about that. Uh, <laughs> The bid uh, held its first major staff meeting this March, bringing in people who uh, would be involved with uh, the, the uh, WorldCon committee, should we win TM. Uh, I think that's all I have for specific announcements. I'll take questions if anyone has them. Okay, questions, we'll start there. Yeah. Please define walking distance. Let's see, the furthest of these uh, hotels is, I would say the president is what, about three blocks? Two, and, two uh, to and, three blocks. And what's your block length in Kansas City? Mm -hmm. I think it's probably eight, eight blocks to a mile. Eight to the mile. Standard. standard. There's more than one standard. Yeah, it's not me. It's standard. Those of us with Portland ties know that it's <laughs> Or some of blocks. Yes, that's right. So, yeah. Eight to the mile block. So, three eighths of a mile is what that would amount to. Is the farthest one within five hotels that are available? Yes, that's the furthest one. Uh, Where are the parties going to be? I don't believe we've uh, decided that yet. We don't know what, you do not know where the parties will be held yet. We are not a world con yet. Yes. We are still a bit. Okay. Yes. What restaurants are in the area? Restaurants. Many, many, many restaurants. Uh, the, probably the most interesting selection is in a, an area within three blocks from the convention center, which is called the Power and Light District. Lots and lots and lots of restaurants, bars and grills. Uh, there's a bowling alley if you like that sort of thing. Do you need a barbecue out there? Uh, no, we <laughs> ran out of barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> These are leading questions. Okay, Sorry. yes. What's the temperature around that time of year? Weather. The average high temperature in August is 86 degrees. Average? Average. It could be warmer. It could be slightly cooler. Average high. Average high temperature. Average low temperature is 66. It is humid. It is warm. It is the Midwest in August. What can I say? Anyone else who hasn't had a chance yet? OK, then I'll take that one. I just follow on the weather. I grew up in Missouri, and it, it does not feel 86 in the summer. I grew up south, just southeast of Kansas City. And, uh, Midwestern, mid Midwestern muggy is very a fair hot. assessment. <laughs> sure. Well, but but those of you who went to uh, uh, Lone Star Con last year know that it was pretty darn hot there. Comparable. No, hot. Hot. All right. 
I would think it'd be cool. Any more questions? Any more questions other than weather debris? <laughs> okay. I mean, a little bit here. Once again, you have to be a member of this year's Worldcon LawnCon in order to vote. Uh, vote is between Kansas City and Beijing, and we hope everybody will participate in the election. Uh, question, uh, comment? Uh, comment about uh, voting. Uh, we <coughs> at LawnCon are not taking checks or anything else to be for paying the voting fee. It has been done entirely to the token system that was first used at the Worldcom last year. So uh, you're saying yeah. we'll you can take online pay on site we will be taking pounds cash. Okay, on, okay the, this is uh, some administrative stuff about how the uh, voting fees with the advanced sporting membership in the uh, 2016 Worldcon will be selected. Checks are not being uh, accepted in advance. Pound sterling will be accepted in cash at the convention, but no other currency, I believe. Right. Uh, and, credit and credit cards, cards will accept accept be, on be accepted on site and as part of the uh, advance. Uh, you know, the, the paper ballots mailed in and so on. There is no electronic voting, is there? There is no electronic voting, and you can't, unlike in, the, unlike in the past where you used to be able to write your credit card number on the ballot, you cannot. You must use your credit card to buy a voting token on the website. Right. And I'm repeating that. that for the benefit of the recording. Uh, you cannot just write your credit card number on the site selection ballot and send it in. You must go to the LawnCon website and use your credit card to buy what's called a voting token that will charge your credit card and that will be used for if you want to pay by uh, uh, by credit you pay by credit card and vote in advance by mail. People can of course collect bring in ballots from other people and payment will be dealt with in the various ways it can be dealt with there. Okay, further further Ben? I think that's another question about the administrative voting. Yes? Uh, yes, just to be clear here, these voting tokens, these are just virtual tokens? They're virtual tokens. It's a, it's a, so number. It's a number they give right. you that you write on the ballot, yes? All right. I did this last year. Yes. The voting token is proof of payment. It's a proof that you pay, yes. That you fill in on if you need to mail in, or you can, yeah. That's right. It's, it's the just, paper. It's, it's something that, you prove that you paid. Okay. Somewhat like so your if Hugo you go the pin. Okay. Okay. Can you use the voting token? Yes. You can use the voting token at the convention as well as paying okay. that's, by that's credit card on the spot. Yes. Okay, I think we've dealt with the administration. Okay, thank you very much.